Well, greetings everyone. I noticed I have my picture down in the bottom corner of the screen over here cut off. Uh, you know, scriptures and such. So I moved me back over to this other side. I hope y'all watched this last video. There's 17 views already. I only posted it a couple hours ago. But uh, it talks about no one knows the day or the hour where the rapture doctrine came from and I was led to prove it wrong. Now down in the comments, and you can see I've pinned Jared Oliver here, you know, and he says, when you see the red heifer standing in the holy place, no, you who say we are to keep the law might want to run to the hills. Uh, they will have the Ark of the Covenant placed in the third temple, Holy of Holies, and actually are going to sprinkle blood on the mercy seat. That is, the said is abomination that makes desolate. And, you know, my comment back to him, I, I let him know the scripture in Urimur Jeremiah 3.16, Then it shall come to pass when you are multiplied and increased in the land in those days. Now, in those days are these and days, says Yahweh, that they will know more the Ark of the Covenant of the Father. It shall not come to mind, nor shall they remember it, nor shall they visit it, nor shall it be made anymore. And why? Well, because... Now, hopefully, Jared, you know, I mean... This young fella comes out here to the videos that I've been posting, our king has led me to bring, and I explain up here in my comment that, you know, when he first had uh, posted, it was 23 minutes ago. And what I did was I came up here to my analytics, I clicked on it to find out exactly what was going on okay so watch time is 1.9 hours out of 17 views okay so it's going up a little bit but when Jared first had written it was about here he didn't even watch the video he didn't even watch a minute of the video and so I reported to him you know that he didn't even watch it that he was being rude just coming onto the videos that I've been putting out led by our king to do so otherwise i wouldn't be doing them you know because people like this jared oliver i love you man you know i hate what you do you know you show me no respect when you come to these videos and you'll just post things that are just bizarre and try to make me think as you commented back here you says have you watched the book of Acts and you now know exactly what I am is saying about what I have said? Now, my friends, you know, as you know, Jared doesn't watch the videos. I've just showed that. He comes here, he posts things. And, you know, if you've seen some of the other recent videos where Jared had posted, over here you can see in the comments, uh, somebody did like what I posted back to Jared is the comment. Uh, here Jared writes, Jared writes, Jared writes, Jared, 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 Jared. He's writing all the time, but he doesn't watch the videos. And, and y'all know, if you've watched my videos, you know that what he's posting in these things you know is totally against what i preach you know and i should say what i share but you know jared's been coming around for a while anyway and and you know it, it's a pity that he keeps coming up with these same kind of things no you know he he tries to tell me that He's had these visions where the I am comes. So I even, you know, and, and Timothy P., you know, which startled me when I had first seen one comment. But Timothy P. here, he comments back to, you know, Jared Oliver's initial statement that he made, his comment on one of the recent videos, uh, 144,000 blessed first day of the Feast of Tabernacles. Today's the third day, and I thank you for being here and rejoicing with us. 
But uh, Timothy P. says, Jared Oliver, and I do highly recommend you go to his site. Also, uh, Melvin McCulloch. Go to his channel, listen to some of his videos. You know, he's doing the best he can. I know that Timothy P. here, you know, is a very important person, very prominent in our King's site, because he no longer needs the cell phone. He's one of those that have been through all that the cell phone had to offer, all that the schoolmaster had to offer. He went through these things, and now... Our king is dealing with him face to face, you know, not like, you know, they're sitting down and watching a movie together or something, but Timothy knows exactly what I'm speaking of. You may not yet because you're still hooked to the schoolmaster, if you're hooked to the schoolmaster at all, until the schoolmaster gives you to our king. Anyway, uh, Timothy P. writes and says, Jared Oliver. I find your comment interesting. However, I have a few questions for you. How can a man, given all these amazing responsibility, not even use our king's proper name? Instead, you use a name completely made up 400 years ago. Second, how can you possibly not use his father's proper name, Yahweh? We don't translate foreign uh, leaders' names why translate the Most High or His Son's name? Also, for such a privilege to have the spirit of Elijah with you, you must be spiritually clean, observing the Ten Commandments, the 613 give or take laws, and observing all the holy days, feasts, and celebrations. This would include refrain from unclean foods such as pork or shellfish, observing the seventh day Sabbaths, wearing seat seats or fringes on your garments, and please, again, that is what I do. I've got them. You know, this is a testimony that I can do the impossible, and so does Timothy P. and others that our king knows of, they do these same things. See, seats or fringes on your garments. Are you doing these things? If so, that is great. If you need more help in these areas, keep listening to this brother Al and I. P.S. Just a heads up. Be careful. Some voices come from unfamiliar, yeah, from unfamiliar spirits posing as our king and many others. And I do thank you for that, Timothy P. Now, the peculiar part of this, though, was I had wrote back to Jared where I was testing Jared's spirit. And I asked him five questions, which were basically about what it's talking here, about the holy days, the feasts, the celebrations. This would include refraining from unclean food, such as pork and selfish, and the seventh-day Sabbath, and so on and so forth. I didn't bring in the fringes on the garment, but I didn't also do these other parts. But these other things that our brother Timothy P. had brought out to this man... I had written already five questions that you can see up here in these comments, you know, on this video. And the young man, of course, he eats pork. But yet, he wants to say, as it shows right here, on 144,000 blessed first day of the Feast of Tabernacles 2020, I put this out October 1st, 2020. Jared writes his little skits in here, you know, and I go ahead and correct them. Then he comes back and says, fasting is acceptable for atonement. No, I don't care for shellfish, mudfish, but I do like bacon. And I do eat Jesus de Christos has said what the Peter, the god of penises, that Kepha was renamed as, was shown as clean food while he was named as, was shown as clean food while he was uh, waiting to meet Saul. I don't know where he got that. I guess, I guess he got his stories a little mixed up. 
Sorry, Jared, you know, but he wasn't waiting to meet Saul. <laughs> Kepha was being told that he needed to go to the centurion's home. They had repented of all their sins. They got rid of the unclean foods. They started getting into contact with the schoolmaster. And the schoolmaster had sent Malachim to Kepha. To let them know that, hey, look, man, don't call what our Father created as clean. Human beings can be clean. Those were the most unclean of all things. When we die, you know, the ashes of the red heifer were to be applied, and it took seven days, not six, seven days to be cleansed of death of a human being. Death of a pig, you wash, you know, if the pig died 20 minutes before sundown, all you got to do is just wash your clothes and such, you know, and you'll be clean at sundown. For a human body, though, to be dead and you're in contact with it, takes seven days back in those days. But yeah, you like the bacon and all these things. Kepha was shown a clean food while he was waiting to meet Saul. <laughs> Please read the scripture, my friend. You know, you are incorrect. And, uh, you know, I, I hope that you understand that the people that come here to this channel are far above these things that you're speaking, you know? You should at least listen to some of these videos while you're here. That's why I address this entire video to you, Jared Oliver, in hopes that you may hear the truth. You must keep the Ten Commandments by taking on the schoolmaster. And if you look at some of the videos, you'll see the schoolmaster is explained by using even a cell phone that you know about. Maybe because you know about a cell phone, you will then come to understand Holy Spirit, which you haven't even a clue. And with that, my friend, I'm sorry to say so. Start keeping the Feast of Tabernacles. This is the third day of it. And what I want to do right now is go over here to watch Signs and Wonders. Everybody, go to Signs and Wonders. You'll see Melvin there. He's going to be debating. Okay, uh, Red's Rhetoric versus Melvin. And I know Melvin, you know, he's uh, walking the best he can. He believes what he says he believes. He does what he says he does. You know, people give him flack, and that's beautiful. You know, he's got to have this opposition. Everyone can't love him. Neither can Jared Oliver love me. If he did, you know, then I would be the same thing as all the false prophets before him, you know, than his fathers and he is loved, you know, and I'm not. I bring a different doctrine. That's what the 144,000 do. My other 143,999 brothers out there, all right, we've got this going live right now. And so I must say to you, my friends, I love you all. Jared, Oliver, please watch this video and repent. Bye.